Hello everybody and welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. We are here doing your February 2021 New Love reading for all of our Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus singles out there. If you're single and looking for love, this is your reading. If you're in a relationship already, um, please go and check out the love readings that are already up and posted. All right, so let's see where we go. As always, this is a general and an intuitive reading. So not all the messages that come out with resonate will resonate with all of you. Just take the parts that do and leave the rest behind. So let's see where we go here. Messages for Pisces, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. New love, please. Ooh, that's too many. Thank you. New love, please, for the month ahead. What do we need to know? New love. New love, please. New love. Thank you. All right, and the first one out, we have walking away. Okay, good. Leaving your baggage behind, leaving your past behind, and walking towards a bright new future. And then we also have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Okay, beautiful. Some of you, you are very much in touch with your spiritual side, and your intuition is on point with that energy. So I'm going to pull the rest of your cards and we'll go deeper into each one of the messages. Messages for Pisces, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. New love. New love only. What do we need to know? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. New love, please. And we have trust. All right. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. All right. Let's see what else we get. And we have express your love. Okay, so go ahead and make a romantic gesture. If you have your eyes on somebody, you might need to take the first step. True love, okay. Uh, some of you may have already met the person that can be a true love. Um, or you have your eye on somebody, okay. And one last message, please. And we have playfulness, okay. Don't forget to have fun. All right, you're not necessarily going to go on every first date thinking, oh, I love you, I'm going to marry you. Okay, sometimes you need to have fun first. All right, get to know each other first. So I'm going to pull all of your tarot. So messages for Pisces, send me Mars and Venus. Thank you. <clears throat> so we have the Two of Wands coming out first. The Three of Cups, beautiful. And then Justice. Wow, look at that beautiful energy coming out there for you an energy of uh, looking out into the future joy celebration and then we've got karma coming in for you good karma coming towards you we have judgment <clears throat> excuse me the five of cups and the queen of cups okay so it feels like whoever is coming towards you when energy is coming towards you it feels like there's some healing that needs to go on first but there is a new person coming your way and let's just get your outcome energy One more. and we have the devil the ace of cups and the magician wow okay Whew. man someone is in full-on manifestation mode here okay so let's go I'm going to go a little deeper into all of these for you. So first out, okay, walking away. This is actually a beautiful, <clears throat> excuse me, beautiful energy. <clears throat> excuse me, good Lord. So this is you being done with something. Now, some of you could possibly be walking away from existing connections, existing um, um, jobs, all right, your career, maybe you're changing your career path, moving forward, doing something a little bit different. <clears throat> um, some of you might have a cold because uh, all of a sudden I have a frog in my throat. All right, um, but this is more, uh, probably more likely to do with some of you. Some of you can be moving with this, by the way, okay? But this is also emotionally walking away from something. Preconceived ideas, emotional baggage, past relationships okay you're looking forward and you're moving forward into into the bright light into something newer and more positive for you so whether that is something in your physical world you know 
um, like that job or, you know, a house, you could actually be just be moving, moving jobs, moving an apartment for perhaps, okay, perhaps um, moving uh, to a different city for some of you. But this is whether that's in the physical world or the emotional or spiritual world for you. All right. It's what it's a card of self-assurance, self-confidence, knowing what you want, and more importantly, putting behind you what isn't working for you and moving towards something more positive and beneficial for you. And again, that can just be something as simple as a way of thinking. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. This is such a beautiful energy. This is your crown chakra. And this is the open pathway to all of your intuition and your spirituality. So, <clears throat> excuse me, some of you might be having, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I have to take a little sip of water. Some of you might be having a spiritual epiphany at the moment, a spiritual awakening with this card. You might just be getting back in touch with your spiritual side, but at the very least, your intuition right now is on point, all right? You might have just a deep knowing about people or situations that allow you to make those choices and with ease and you're not worrying about anything. You're not sitting there, uh, once you meet somebody, you're not sitting there in a corner thinking, oh, what do I do, what do I do? No, you just know what to do and you're following your gut and you're trusting that guidance that's coming in. It's such a very powerful energy to be sitting in and coupled with that walking away and that self-assuredness and that self-confidence that you've got within you. Man, oh man, because I see some manifestation towards the end of your reading here. And um, it's a beautiful energy to be in. It truly is. It's Everything feels in alignment with you right now. And I see that coming out in your top row in your reading here also. Okay, so we have trust. The situation is calling for you to have trust and faith, okay? Have faith. So if you have been trying to call in a new love, a soulmate, if you've been working on manifestation, right? Working with your spiritual side and your intuition, know that divine timing is at work, right? Things will unfold as they may and as they should is actually more of a... Um, correct message. You may have also met somebody and you know, you may, someone may have caught your eye and you're like, oh, okay, not sure what to do about this. Well, express yourself, okay? Express yourself, trust in the situation, trust in yourself and your intuition, number one, okay? Um, don't be afraid to make some sort of gesture. Um, Perhaps you've been on a few dates with somebody. Perhaps you haven't even met someone yet or you haven't taken those first steps to, um, you know, to connect with them properly, okay? Um, don't be afraid to express yourself here and it doesn't have to be some big grand gesture, okay? It can be something small, however that resonates for you. But don't be afraid to express yourself at this time, all right? And... Again, you're, it feels you're very much on point with your intuition anyway. Now, for some of you, okay, the person coming in can be your true love. And again, what, whether you have met this person or not yet, I feel for some of you that you have someone in your sights, someone that you've been maybe looking at from afar. Um, and this might be someone that you meet through your workplace or through friends most likely we have that three of cups coming out there. So friends or social situation, maybe one of your friends sets you up on a blind date. All right. And you're like, Oh my goodness, you've set me up before and it never works out well, but this could possibly be, um, your golden opportunity. So there is that possibility of true love. Now, whatever transpires for you. All right. Playfulness. Okay. Have some fun. So, you radiate, whatever you radiate out into the universe is exactly what you attract back to you. So don't be afraid to be in touch with your inner child. Um, have some fun, do some fun activities. And, you know, even if it's, you know, maybe getting out together with a friend and going 
hiking or, um, you know, just, I don't know how, whatever resonates with fun for you. Okay. But get in touch with your inner child as well. Cause when you are having fun, you radiate a great light out into, out into the universe. And again, that's exactly what you attract back. Um, if you do start to date somebody, okay, do something fun. It doesn't always have to be, you know, totally serious. And quite often when we're laughing and when we're playful, that's when the sparks really, really fly. Okay. So as much as you're trying to, um, call in your, you know, a new love, all right, don't forget to have fun while you're doing it too. It doesn't always have to be so serious. So we have you here. Uh, you've been looking out into the horizon, okay? You've been thinking about the future, thinking about what you want, uh, where you want to be, where you want to go, what kind of person possibly that you want to call into your life. Um, but this is a this is an energy of expansion and um, about thinking about what your dream is and making a and making a bit of a plan and thinking about how to move forward, what steps to take to move forward. This is not a card of forward action, but you're certainly doing a lot of thinking about that. All right. And now we're moving into a period of joy and celebration. And here's your fun. Here's your socialization, getting together with friends, with family, having fun, you know, clinking a glass at, you know, a Friday afternoon happy hour. Okay. Um, uh, this is where your inner child comes out. All right. Now, this can also be a situation where you perhaps meet somebody um, through your friends and through some socialization. And of course, it depends on where you are in the world and how much uh, freedoms that you have. I mean, let's face it, we are still in the middle of a pandemic. So depending on where you are, you might, you know, some of this might be physical, um, seeing people face to face. And for others, maybe you get uh, online and you do some sort of social group. Um, I have a friend that does online uh, paint parties with people and everyone <clears throat> everyone has like a their own paint and canvas and you just have like this Zoom thing and there's like five or six people on there and I think everyone's kind of uh, getting drunk in their living room to be honest but um, you know but however that resonates for you in your situation but don't forget to have some fun and this is a time for joy and celebration. It feels here that you've done a lot of healing work some of you have done a lot of spiritual growth as well to get you to this point. It feels very peaceful, your energy right now, very peaceful. And you're looking out to the future, not just with hopes and dreams and wishes, but also with a good emotional well-being. Okay. It feels very, it doesn't feel rushed at all. It feels very much calm and at peace. Okay. Beautiful energy for you to be sitting in. And then we have justice. Okay, we're moving into justice here. So karma is on her way. Okay, so whatever your situation, there is something balanced and fair coming in here for you. If your life has felt out of balance, this is balance coming in. If you're working on anything that involves a legal situation or contracts, I mean, yes, we're starting about, we're talking about love, but we also have this walking away. So someone might be, if you're buying a house or starting a new job, the resolution and the outcome will be in your favor. Okay. So that is just a sidebar with that walking away energy. Okay. So you, if you're looking for the house of your dreams, the job of your dreams, all right, you are getting, um, you are getting back what you deserve to get back. Okay. This is fairness and equality in all things. Um, and again, this is about karma. So whatever new person is heading your way, this is something that you need and something that you deserve. Okay. In a very positive, balanced kind of way. Okay. Karma in your favor here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now what's coming towards you. We have first out, we have judgment. So this can represent you or your person. Okay. It can actually represent both of you because this is a very powerful energy of healing, self-enlightenment here, releasing and letting go, being in connection with your higher self and with spirit. Uh, everyone gets their judgment day, right? It's, it's a clear, balanced view of 
your past, your past relationships, actions, people, and it's taking the lessons forward into the future, but releasing any kind of negativity. So it can be a energy of reconciliation as well. So some of you, some of you may, most people don't want to hear this, I'm sure, but some of you may have um, reconciliation with a past relationship, a past partner, okay? Or they might be coming to you to reconcile and ask you to forgive them. We do have the devil coming out as well, okay? And the devil can be about um, um, toxic relationships, but also about repeating repeating patterns, okay? Repeating patterns. Um, so that is a possibility, um, but it's coming out in your outcome row. So, uh, we'll get to it in a minute. All right. But, um, but I feel if you are truly in connection with your higher self and you're releasing anything in the past that didn't work and you're learning your lessons and moving forward, I don't believe you'll fall back into that trap. Okay. Just, just as a, just as a side note there, if you're sitting here looking at that devil and worrying about it, okay, we'll get to him. All right, but this is a beautiful release, okay? Beautiful release, healing and forgiveness. So I feel that this is actually working for both you and um, and a new person, okay? This is an overall energy and it's very powerful in here. And in order to completely attract um, what you need, I'm just grabbing the end magician here just because these kind of go hand in hand. Okay, these three actually go hand in hand a little bit. Okay, karma coming in, balanced and fair, release of the old and bring in the new with that magician, right? With crystal clear clarity. So just as a little note to you there, but the five of cups, okay, the five of cups. So I feel that there is still some residual energy here of loss. Um, the five of cups is about grief and disappointment and being focused still on what you don't have rather than what is still in front of you and what is still available. So I feel this is more your person coming in that is currently working through this energy. Okay. Cause we have, um, um, I'll just say the top row is you, this is what's coming towards you and this is outcome. All right. And it's just past, present, future. Okay. So just seeing the progression of energies that are going along. So it's not super complicated here, but, um, but I feel that your person is still working through a little bit of residual energy. It doesn't look like it'll be for long. It feels as though, um, it's just that last little bit because they are also, they are also working on releasing and healing, okay, so that they can move forward. So I feel that these energies overlap and this is what they are working on, okay? So just trying to get, just trying to clear themselves a little bit and break out, break free out of that energy. Now we have the Queen of Cups. So for one, this can be you stepping into your own spirituality and your own level of maturity and personal power. Okay, the Queen of Cups is very soulful, very connected, very much in tune with emotions, very knowledgeable. Okay, and we do see a crown up here. That's the crown chakra. And of course, we have the crown chakra right here as well. So um, I feel for some of you that this is you, okay, stepping into that spiritual enlightenment and you're the one letting go of some residual energy there and then stepping into your own personal light. Okay. So that's beautiful energy for others. This is your person. Okay. Who is having perhaps some sort of enlightenment, spiritual awakening, or just, uh, regaining control of their emotions. It's the queen of cups. So, um, it's the feminine energy. Um, we don't talk about gender here. It's all about the energy. Okay. So feminine energy, but very, very beautiful and very powerful. Also very, um, loving, loving, nurturing, caring, compassionate, and kind. So whether that's you or your person, Hey, take that as that resonates, but wouldn't that be beautiful if that's both? Okay. So now we get to your outcome row, which is the most interesting of all, to be honest. 
<clears throat> so we have the devil. Now, the devil represents a few things. The devil is actually a very complicated kind of energy. And people look at it and go, oh my God, it's the devil. My world is coming to a close. That's really not what it's about. The devil is an opportunity um, for things in the things that tempt us, things that um, entra can entrap us. So it's not necessarily a bad energy. Okay, so it can start out with lust and infatuation. All right, you maybe meet somebody if you've ever had that um, that energy if you've met, met somebody and they're just so alluring you just can't resist them um and you know whether that's good or bad um it can be either one all right but it's that oh my good lord um that instant attraction if you've ever had that um fling okay with somebody very um uh, irresistible okay let's face it okay that's kind of that energy of of the devil now devil energy <clears throat> can excuse me can offer us an opportunity to grasp all of these things that we're truly tempted by um it can be the difference between healthy versus uh addictive relationships um um you know it's that energy where, you know, a few drinks can possibly turn into some sort of addiction. Okay. But with the devil energy, as long as you maintain your perspective, okay, all of these things that tempt us can possibly be beneficial for us and can actually mature into something else. Okay. As long as we maintain that perspective. Now, the devil can also be toxic nar narcissistic energy when it comes to relationships. All right. But I feel what this starts out as, um, cause I also read, I also read these down. Okay. In alignment. And what it feels like here is that some of you have this spiritual realization of what your past relationships or addictions or negative cycles used to be. And it feels like for some of you, because you are fully aware and open to um, your intuition and spiritual guidance, it feels as though for some of you, even if the devil does reach out his hand, okay, and if you are tempted by certain situations, it feels like you have that inner power to maintain that perspective and overcome those situations or resist them entirely. Okay, or maintain your own control over something that comes in. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So I feel with this Queen of Cups energy coming out here, again, that can represent you or your person. Sometimes a new person coming in can start off as something that is um, very lusty. Okay, very... Um, very virile, okay, um, filled with all of that passion and intoxication that comes along with all of those feelings. But it feels like because you are so deeply connected that you will either take this for the fling that it might be, okay, or you can quickly recognize any kind of patterns that may end up, that may develop Okay, and you'll either have the opportunity to break it off, okay, or stand your ground with that energy. All right, so um, there is also the possibility here of two possible um, opportunities coming in. One that has that devil, that narcissistic kind of energy, that toxicity, but also that is very um, tempting. Okay, and another that is more honest and pure. Okay, now sometimes what starts out as lust can turn into love. All right, it all depends on your situation and how you deal with something. The devil doesn't always have to turn toxic. Okay, and it doesn't always have to turn narcissistic. There's always that possibility though. Okay, so just um, as long as you keep your keep that perspective about you. But I feel more... I feel more that this is two possible 
um, opportunities coming in. And of course, it depends where you are in your life. Sometimes you do just want that tempting, lusty fling. Sometimes you're not necessarily looking for that deep love connection. Maybe you don't have time. You're like, Ugh, dude, you know, I just moved. I just started a new job. I just want, you know, I just want a, qu a quick fling for a while, right? Just to, you know, scratch an itch, so to speak perfectly fine, right? Depends where you are in your life, right? As long as you maintain that perspective and um, either don't get in too deep or, you know, set some real strong, clear boundaries, all right? You do have judgment working in your favor here. So spiritual guidance is very huge in your reading today. Okay, so take that as that resonates with you there. All right, but I don't feel, I do not feel that this Queen of Cups is this devil. I feel the Queen of Cups person is the one that is offering some true love. All right, because the Ace of Cups is all about true love. Now, this can also represent, okay, this can also represent, again, you know, with this devil and judgment, recognizing the shadow side of relationships or about um, how, um, how you perceive the material world or relationships, recognizing that so that it brings it to the forefront and you're always aware of how things can possibly go. All right. And again, as long as you're aware and you maintain your perspective, okay, then things don't need to take a turn for, we'll call it the dark side. Okay. Now with the magician coming out here, all right, with the magician coming out here, this Ace of Cups, which is a new opportunity, new romance, offer of love, okay, um, emotional connection. All right, the Ace of Cups is the holy grail of aces in here, right? This is that true love, okay? And it feels like with this magician, this is what you've been manifesting in, okay? Um, manifesting this true love. Again, you're very much in line with your spirituality here as well. So your powers of manifestation are massive, at this time. The magician is also about being resourceful and focused, okay, and being very much, again, in tune with your higher self. So you have all of the tools needed to, number one, recognize something that won't be, may not be good for you in the long term, okay, the magician, the, the devil, okay, and recognizing the difference between those two, okay. It could also be also be that you are because the devil is also about obsession it could be that you are obsessed with manifesting something new okay and that obsession can actually end up um, becoming an addiction okay obsession and addiction we don't want that because as soon as you're obsessed on something you may end up blocking something okay so we want that energy to flow. So be focused and, um, you know, be sure of what direction that you want, but try not to go down the dark side of that obsession. Okay. So kind of a complicated ending for you guys here, kind of a complicated outcome, but I do feel as though, you know, especially with judgment here, I do feel that you are very much in touch with your spirituality and you're listening to that spiritual guidance. And I feel that should you have uh, something that tempts you or tries to sway you off of your path, okay, um, depends what you're looking for again, right, um, that you will have that inner guidance and you will know what is true and what is not, what is honest and pure and what is um, just tempting and alluring. And I think you'll have the, the wisdom and the higher guidance to be able to figure that out. Okay, but uh, love coming in here for you, absolutely. And again, for some of you, this is two different people. Okay, possibly three, to be honest, possibly three with that devil. Okay, but that devil can also just serve as a warning that when you meet a person, don't become so obsessed about this being love that you block that you block your um, uh, your happy ending, so to speak. Okay, so if you get obsessed about it, you don't want to block anything. Again, it's that flow of energy back and forth there. Okay, so um, really interesting reading for you. It truly, truly, truly is. Okay, but when, if you're ever in doubt, okay, again, if you're ever in doubt, um, 
and you're like, which one, which one? Follow the light, follow the light. You know, granted, I have a girlfriend who she'd take the devil any day. Um, so more power to you, whichever it is, because she's like, nah, I don't need them around for a long time. She's like, I'm just having fun. Okay. Um, hey, again, whatever you need in your life, right? We're not here to judge, just here to read the energy. All right, so I'm going to leave that reading there for you. But I'm going to close out your reading with a couple of uh, Enchanted Map Oracle cards. So what else does Pisces need to know for the month ahead? Ooh. And we have Strength. <laughs> yes. <laughs> strength, absolutely. And let's get one more. And we also have Unexpected Visitors. Oh, interesting. All right. Strength is that... Strength is number 44, okay? Very strong foundational number. Um, we do also have, by the way, um, where are we? So we have 11, Ace of Cups and the Magician. So 1-1, one, one, 11 is about new beginnings. We have another 11 with Justice. So we have 11-11 11, 11 coming out, okay? So a lot of people end up seeing 11-11. 11, 11. It's a very spiritual number okay it's also one of new beginnings so you might want to go and look up the spiritual meaning of 1111 very significant okay very very significant okay um uh, strength is 44 and um that is a very foundational number so you might want to also look up 44 so just as a a side note to you there um but strength this is you have the strength to overcome any obstacles you have that inner strength to be able to persevere. Um, and you also have the strength inside you to overcome anything negative and gain a hold of your inner light, inner power to make good choices. And the choices that are good for you going forward okay she literally has the world holding that world with one hand and very connected all right so anything that you do right now you will be successful at okay and you've got that strength drive and determination to move yourself forward and now we have unexpected visitors so Another energy that I get from this devil card here, okay, this is, you know, made your reading a little bit complex at the end, but this devil here could be somebody coming back, all right, um, somebody who um, perhaps you've been very tempted by in the past, all right, and who maybe you had that fling with, someone irresistible um, from your past that um and you're like yeah you know they're good for a short time that um they have that draw to them okay so that's another possibility with that but i feel that you will have that wisdom that wisdom to either overcome it okay or push it aside or just deal with it all right because you are very connected with your higher power here okay but the this one is this unexpected visitors is to expect the unexpected Okay, in all areas of your life, all right? So, um, obstacles, people, um, things coming back from the past, um, all sorts of things. Um, good unexpected things as well, okay? Um, anything unexpected, it's, it, can, it can run the gamut from, you know, um, a spiritual epiphany all the way to, you know, all sorts of people showing up in your life that you didn't expect. All right, so expect that unexpected. All right, but um, but in a in a more positive way, right? Not um, this isn't in the reverse. Okay, so it's not uh, it's not really anything negative. Um, unexpected surprises. Okay, we'll call it that. All right, so expect the unexpected. So this is also that energy. Okay, of um, you might find treasure in places where you maybe wouldn't have normally looked. Okay. Um, so keep your eyes open, keep your eyes and your heart open, stay in tune with your higher self here, and, uh, you're not going to go wrong with that energy. All right. So 
I'm going to close out your reading with a Wisdom of the Oracle card. What last message do we have for Pisces? That is a lot. That is a lot. So we'll take the top one. And we have new life. All right. New life coming out here for you. Okay. And um, it's beautiful. Okay. It's a beautiful new opportunity, new beginning. All right. The Ace of Cups. Um, I don't, I don't feel for all of you that this devil is new. I think that's something that you're clearing up from the past, to be honest. Okay. Um, and you're really doing some soul searching with that card. Okay. For others of you, of course, it can be a new person, but, um, but new life, there's a wonderful new life on the horizon for you. New beginnings in, um, love. All right. New opportunities, the dawn of a brand new day. I'm going to read the entire um, message for you out of the book. I just don't want to miss anything for you. Let me just grab it. New life. Okay. Birth of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a breath of fresh air, and life renewing itself. The relationship messages. New energy enters old relationships, and new relationships are bursting with the sweetness and vibrancy only encountered when winter gives way to spring. So springtime, perhaps. Okay, it's not that far away. This is a time to connect with others and share excitement, passion, and hearts full of joy. This card is a very auspicious sign with respect to love and partnerships in all forms. Okay, beautiful. Get ready. Um, expect the unexpected, right? Look in places maybe you didn't think about before as well. Okay, um, and again, for some of you, it can be a past person coming back with that um, with that devil, and um, well, that how take that how that resonates for you if you know somebody like that. All right, could just represent that you're really tempted by your new person. Okay, um, it doesn't always have to be a scary a scary energy. All right, so I'm going to leave that there for you. So hopefully there was messages in here for you that resonated. Um, if so, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous February ahead of you, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.